It just occurred to me. Woman, we've been here for like a month and a half and you haven't shown your library. It's my library. Hello. Welcome. I'm not done yet, but mostly. Well, do you want to give them a tour? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Library tour will be coming soon. But I do have an idea since you're here. Okay. I need you to help me figure out my August TBR. Okay. How, so, how do you want me to help? Okay. So there's this thing called Readathon. Yes. And it's hosted by Amanda, who near and dear to my heart. I talk about her all the time. Very familiar with Amanda. Um, also, Chelsea and Jessica. They are the three hostesses for this readathon. And it's all of August, and I can't decide a TBR. Is there a theme or? No. No theme. No theme. Except they're all books that have been on your TBR, which I have plenty. Yeah. But there are eight challenges. I thought I could rattle off a couple, and or all of them. Mm -hmm. And you could pick a book and I will read it. A book? Pick one book per challenge, so that's eight books this month. Okay. Because I can't decide. And if it were up to me, I would just continue to read manga for the rest of, you know, August. Because that's the mood I'm in. Yes. Are you down? You... I will guide you through this. How many was there? Six? There's eight. Eight. I need to pick eight books. Yes, but I have eight challenges that need to fit. I will tell you if A, if I read it. B, if it's the second book in a series, which I can't do. Or C, if it's a go. Okay. So. So, it, even though you're wanting me to pick, it's still at your discretion. It's not at my discretion. Because there, I, if, if it's the second book in a series, I can't read that because I haven't read the first book. Okay, well that would make sense. Do you want to get the tripod set up and join me on this side of the camera? I reckon. to Bookish Taylor. I am Taylor and today I'm here to bring you my Readathon TBR. This is also my August TBR and as you have seen in that little intro clip I had Andy pick all of these books and sadly that footage that I had of him picking these books and us going through what these books are and what their challenges are got corrupted and I can't get it back. So you're stuck with just me going through them really quickly. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. The first book that he chose was for the challenge that Donna created, and that is for a book with purple or white on the cover. And he ended up choosing The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because of the white font on the cover. And I have already started this. I'm listening to this on audiobook, and I'm really happy with that choice. And I'm about 87 pages in, and I'm really enjoying it. Next up was the challenge of a book with a birthday in it, and this was for Melissa, and Andy went with More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I have started this previously. I was on page 66. I'm either going to be continuing on from page 66 or starting over from page 1 and then going from there. I haven't decided yet, but from what I understand, I was really enjoying this. It was just a wrong book for me at the time. I was in a pretty dark mindset when I picked this up. So hopefully I can pick this up and get to this. It's relatively short and I have the audiobook for it. Next is a book with a house on the cover and this is created by Kendra and Andy chose The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I have seen this pretty much everywhere and from what I understand it's actually a really good story and I look forward to finally picking it up and reading it because I've heard so many good things. The fourth challenge is the challenge that I created, and that is a book that was a gift. And Andy had actually bought this book for me. That is Gunslinger Girl by Lindsay Ellie. This is about a girl by the name of Serendipity, and she lives in the... It's, it takes, it's a futuristic novel, a futuristic western, actually. It takes place after the Second World War, and she is actually on the run from her... From her family so I really look forward to getting back into this. I read the first chapter and I was pretty much sold so I will definitely be picking this up next. Challenge number five is a book with a map in it and this was created by Jessica. She is one of the hosts and Andy went with Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. So that is a map. It's a map of the ship that they are on in this book and I am 138 pages yeah I'm 138 pages into this already and I'm probably going to go and continue it as soon as I finish filming this challenge number six is to read a book that starts with the letter of August so a book that starts with a u g s or t this was created by Chelsea 
And Andy chose A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. There is a readathon or a read-along going on with this and I will be joining in that. So that's exciting. The seventh challenge is to read a book with a romance and that was created by Amanda. And Andy chose P.S. I Like You by Casey West. And the last challenge is challenge number eight and that is to read a book that has been on your TBR for over a year. And Andy went with Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Choke. That's wrong. These are the eight books that Andy picked for my Readathon TBR, also my August TBR, because if it were up to me, I would just read manga. So I'm very thankful that he helped me and chose these books for me. And what book are you most excited to read for the month of August? I think I'm really excited to continue on with the Illuminae Files, so I'm really excited to get to Gemina. And I'm also really excited to finish The Hate You Give and to, like, I'm really glad I finally picked this up because I'm 87 pages in and I'm really enjoying it. So that is going to be it for my August TBR and my Readathon TBR. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye!